Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of e raised to x into 1 minus sin x upon 1 minus cos x. And we'll be solving it by parts. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be making a small observation. We know that sin 2x is the same as 2 sin x cos x, which means that sin of x would be the same as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. And we also know that cos 2x is cos square x minus sin square x and sin square x plus cos square x is 1, which means that I can write cos square x as 1 minus sin square x. So if I replace this in this formula, it would become 1 minus 2 sin square x. Because cos square x becomes 1 minus sin square x, so minus sin square x gets added to minus sin square x. Which means that 2 sin square x is the same as 1 minus cos 2x. So, 2 sin square x by 2 is the same as 1 minus cos x. So, I'm going to be writing the numerator as, so if we have 1 minus sin x as the numerator, we'll be writing that as 1 minus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Upon 1 minus cos x is going to be written as 2 sin square x by 2. So now I'll be separating this into two different fractions. We have 1 by 2 sin square x by 2 minus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 upon 2 sin square x by 2. I'm going to cancel out the 2's and I'm going to cancel out one of the sin squares, sorry one of the sines. And we know that sine is the reciprocal of cosec, which means that 1 by sine square x by 2 is basically cosec square x by 2. So this becomes cosec square x by 2 into 1 by 2. Minus we have cos x by 2 upon sine x by 2, which becomes cot x by 2. So this is what we are going to be substituting in our integral. So we have the integral of e raised to x, 1 by 2 cos x square x by 2 minus cot x by 2. And the differentiation of cot x is minus cos x square x, which means that the differentiation of minus cot x by 2 would be cos x square x by 2 because it would be minus of minus cos x square, so it becomes cos x square x by 2, into the differentiation of x by 2, which is 1 by 2. So it will be 1 by 2 into cos x square x by 2, which is exactly what we have here in this bracket. So this is what is going to help us. So now let's write our integral as two different integrals, one being e raised to x by 2 cos x square x by 2, minus, sorry, let's just keep the minus sign inside the integral, let this be plus, integral of minus e raised to x cot x by 2. And now we can use the bypass rule to solve this particular integral. And we'll keep this one as it is for now. So using the Lyot rule, we are going to be placing e raised to x as the v term and cot minus cot x by 2 as the u term. We have the Lyot rule right here. If you're not quite sure on how to use this term, I'll be linking my video in the description box and at the end of the video, this video, in which I've explained this rule. So let's just put minus cot x by 2 as u and v becomes e raised to x because exponential term comes after the trigonometric term in the Lyot rule. So using the bypass formula, we have, let's place this integral as it is. So we have u into the integral of v, so that is minus cot x by 2 
into the integral of e raised to x minus the integration of differentiation of u cot x by 2 into the integration of v dx. Okay, so I'm going to keep this as it is. We know that the integral of e raised to x with respect to x is just e raised to x itself. So this stays as it is. It stays e raised to x. So our term becomes minus e raised to x cot x by 2. And because we've solved an integral, we have to add a constant. Minus the differentiation of minus cot x by 2 as we just saw is cos x squared x by 2 into 1 by 2. So this becomes 1 by 2 into cos x squared x by 2 and this is still e raised to x. Sorry, I ran out of space. So this becomes the integral of e raised to x by 2 cos x squared x by 2. Let's remove the plus sign. Let's just open the bracket. We have minus e raised to x cot x by 2 plus c minus the integral of e raised to x into 1 by 2 becomes e raised to x by 2 into cos x square x by 2 dx. And as you can notice, we have the exact same integrals. This has a plus sign, this has a minus sign, which means they get cancelled out. And since there is no integral term left, we are left with our final answer, which is minus e raised to x cot x by 2 plus c. This is our final answer. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.